Okay, here I'm going to prove a reduction formula for secant to the power of n theta d theta. And what we're going to show, it, it says if we find the antiderivative of that, we'll get secant to the power of n minus 2 theta times tangent theta divided by n minus 1 plus n minus 2 over n minus 1 multiplied by the integral of secant raised to the power of n minus 2 theta d theta. So what we're going to do to get started on this, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to break this up. Is I'm going to write this as secant raised to the power of n minus 2 times secant of n minus 2 of theta times secant squared of theta, d theta. And again, you know, if this was already secant squared or just secant theta, we already have antiderivative formulas for secant squared and secant of theta. So uh, we're kind of making the assumption here, you know, if you were going to use this formula, your power of n would be uh, certainly 3 or larger. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to use integration by parts. And again, that says the integral of u dv. That's simply going to be u v minus the integral of v du. Okay, so we've got to pick something to be u, and we have to pick something to be dv. Well, in this case, I'm going to let dv be secant squared theta, d theta. And that would give us that v would simply be tangent of theta, if we think about the antiderivative of secant squared. So that means u is going to be secant to the power of n minus 2 theta. I'm just going to write that as secant of theta raised to the power of n minus 2. Just to remind myself that when I calculate du, we're going to have to use the chain rule. So our n minus 2 comes out front. We leave the inside alone. We take 1 away from the exponent, so that will give us n minus 3. And then we have to take the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of secant theta will be secant theta times tangent theta. All right, so now if we uh, substitute all this into our integration by parts formula, it says we get u times v. So we'll have secant of theta raised to the power of n minus 2 times tangent of theta. So there's our u times v minus the integral of uh, v times du. So v is tangent of theta. And then du is all the stuff we just found. So we would have n minus 2 times secant of theta raised to the n minus 3 times secant of theta times tangent of theta d theta. So I'm going to uh, clean this up here a little bit. Okay, so that we've got secant raised to the power of n minus 2 theta times tangent theta. Minus, well, n minus 2, that's just a, a constant. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out front. Notice we've got a tangent and another tangent. So that's going to be tangent squared theta. And let's see, then we've got secant of theta times excuse me, secant of theta raised to the power of n minus 3 multiplied by secant of theta. Well, hey, we've got like bases. We can just add the exponents. So again, that's going to give us secant of theta raised to the power of n minus 2 d theta. And at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to actually rewrite our tangent squared of theta. Remember, we've got our trig identity for tangent squared theta, and that says that tangent squared theta, that's going to be the same thing as secant squared theta minus 1. Okay, so I'm going to substitute that in there. Okay, so we've got secant raised to the power of n minus 2 of theta times tangent of theta minus n minus 2, and now I'm going to replace, so we've got secant squared theta minus 1 multiplied by secant of theta 
raised to the power of n minus 2 d theta. And again, I'm going to keep simplifying here on the, on the right side. Or I should say my second term there. So if we distribute, well, we've got secant squared theta times secant of theta raised to the power of n minus 2. Again, like bases, if we add the exponents, we would get secant uh, raised to the power of just n. And then again, if we distribute, we would have minus our secant of theta raised to the power of n minus 2. Again, all of this is going to be uh, d theta. So all right, we're getting a little bit closer here. We're almost there now in this case. Notice again our original, well, let, let, let's do one more step. Um, I'm going to break up my integral. Okay, so my first term, just hanging out, we've got secant raised to the power of n minus 2 of theta times tangent of theta minus n minus 2. If we uh, break up our integral, we'll have n minus 2 times secant raised to the power of n of theta. And then if we distribute our n minus 2 to the second term, again, it's a negative, so we'll end up with positive n minus 2 multiplied by secant of theta raised to the power of n minus 2 d theta. So what we've got at this point is, so what we started with was, again, just secant of n theta. And we've created a, an expression where we've got an integral involving secant of n theta again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that to both sides. All right, we've got... So we've got secant of n theta d theta equals all this stuff. What I'm going to do to both sides is I'm going to add n minus 2 of secant of n theta. So I'm going to add it on the right side. And oops, I'm sloppy. I left out my d theta there. So let me put my d theta in there before I forget. That would drive me crazy. Okay, so I'm going to add it to the right side, which means we would also have to add it to the left side. Okay, well, we've got on our left side now, we've got secant of n theta d theta plus n minus 2 secant of the n theta d theta. Well, if you take one of something and add it to n minus 2, what we would have is we would have n minus 1 times secant of n theta d theta. And then on the right side, we would be left with all of this other stuff. We would have secant of raised to the power of n minus 2 theta times tangent theta plus n minus 2 times the integral of secant raised to the power of n minus 2 of theta d theta. And now we are basically there. All we need to do at this point is simply divide both sides by n minus 1. So if we divide both sides now by n minus 1, on the left side we'll be left over with secant raised to the power of n theta d theta, and now on the right side we'll have secant raised to the power of n minus 2 theta times tangent theta divided by n minus 1, plus we would have, well, n minus 2 over n minus 1 multiplied by the integral of secant raised to the power of n minus 2 of theta d theta and again, that's what we were originally setting out to, uh, to get. So hey, uh, we've got it. So our justification is complete. So again, the idea to prove this reduction formula 
it's really just a matter of breaking secant down um, into secant to, so that you have a factor involving secant squared that allows you to do integration by parts and then the only other thing that really uh, you have to do is after doing integration by parts you have to replace the tangent squared with again secant squared minus one and hey that makes everything work out because again that's what makes uh, the original integral reappear well you can add that to both sides divide by the coefficient and that's what gives you the desired formula.